Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss a very important topic that is pneumonias. In your university exam, you usually get a long question on one of the pneumonias that is bacterial pneumonia, either lobar pneumonia or lobular pneumonia that is bronchopneumonia or viral pneumonia or fungal pneumonia. So pneumonias are a very important topic for long question as well as short and very short question. So let's start the topic. <laughs> pneumonias so first of all i will like i would like to give you the overview the headings under which i am going to discuss this topic so that you can frame your answer very smoothly in the exam so first of all i will let you know the definition of pneumonia what do you mean by pneumonia what is the definition of pneumonia then we will see the roots by which the organism enter the lung and reaches inside the uh, respiratory tract the various roots which causes pneumonia then we will see the pathogenesis then the most importantly we will see the classification you very frequently get a separate question on the classification of the pneumonia we will see three type of classification the classification based on the anatomical reason of the lung which is involved the classification which is based on the etiology and pathogenesis and the classification which is based on the clinical settings in the community so we will see three types of classification of pneumonias and then we will see the details of various types of pneumonia so i will teach you bacterial pneumonia viral pneumonia and fungal pneumonia the bacterial pneumonias are of two type lobar and lobular lobular also known as bronchopneumonia for each of these pneumonia i will let you know the introduction etiology and most importantly gross and microscopy that is morphology so you have to judge your answer very carefully you have to frame your answer very carefully so first of all you have to see your question is either on bacterial pneumonia in the bacterial also your question is on lobar or bronchopneumonia that is lobular pneumonia or your question is on viral or fungal so whatever is asked you have to write down that section only you don't have to write down all and apart from that if the time allows you have to write down classification in all of them so this thing is common for all the pneumonias and this is specific for the various pneumonias we will make a comparative table also but before starting the topic let's revise the respiratory tract you must have a concept what is a lobe what is a lobule then only you can understand the pneumonia that is lobar pneumonia and lobular pneumonia so lobar pneumonia involves the lobe Lobular in pneumonia involve the lobule. So first you must understand what is a lobe, what is a lobule. So let me tell you the anatomy of the respiratory tract. Let me revise the timing. So you can see the respiratory tract start with the nose. This is the nose. Nose leads to pharynx, pharynx leads to larynx, larynx leads to trachea. From the trachea, the two bronchi arises, the principal bronchi, the right and the left bronchi. From the bronchi, bronchioles will arise. So you can see from the bronchi, primary bronchial arise. From the primary bronchial, secondary bronchial arise. From the secondary bronchial, tertiary bronchial arise. It leads to terminal bronchial, final terminal bronchial. Terminal bronchial leads to respiratory bronchial, then alveolar duct and finally alveolar sac. The balloons are the alveolar sac. The last three structures together known as acinus, that is respiratory bronchial, alveolar duct and alveolar sac. These three things together known as acinus. So that is the normal respiratory tract. You have seen the same thing is written in front of you. You can see the complete sequence. You can see the last three things together known as acinus. That is respiratory bronchial, alveolar duct and alveolar sac together known as acinus. Now let me give you the concept of lobe and lobule. What is pulmonary lobe? And what is pulmonary lobule then you will understand the two type of pneumonia lobar pneumonia and lobular pneumonia in lobar pneumonia the lobes are involved and in lobular pneumonia the lobules are involved lobular pneumonia also known as bronchopneumonia so you should have a concept so you know humans have a pair of lung we all have a pair of lung inside the lungs the lobes are the lobes are divided i mean you can see in the right lung can you see this is the diagram of the right lung so just a second Okay. just a second you can see this is the right lung the right lung is divided into three lobes can you see this is upper lobe middle lobe lower lobe and this is the left lung left lung is divided only in two lobes upper and lower so in the right lobe you must have three lobes and in the right lung in the left lung you must have two lobes only so that is a lobe lobe is in continuation it is diffuse if the consolidation occurs in the entire lobe it is diffuse consolidation now coming on the lobule we have seen the entire respiratory tract now this is the entire respiratory tract now let's say the terminal bronchiole let's take a terminal bronchiole where is the terminal bronchiole you can see this is the terminal bronchiole terminal bronchiole leads to it gives rise to respiratory bronchiole respiratory bronchiole give rise to alveolar duct and alveolar duct give rise to alveolar sac let's take three to five terminal bronchioles together so all the appendages which arises from three to five terminal bronchioles constitute one lobule so one lobule one lobule is equal to three to five terminal bronchioles and all the appendages arising are, are arising from that so three to five terminal bronchiole leads to 